so I have officially beaten Super Mario Brothers Wonder um, the latest Super Mario game uh, came out this year um, it was interesting to say the least um, you know Mario Bowser he's up to his usual shenanigans in the Mushroom Kingdom as well as surrounding worlds um, took the the seeds of wonder and uh, powered himself up and basically corrupted the lands and it's up to you to get the, the royal seeds to help destroy Bowser or defeat him so the game allows you to play with so pretty much anybody that was in in Mario um, or the history of Mario there's a Nabbit there's like every Yoshi the red green yellow blue uh, all the toads uh, even a toadette they got Daisy Peach Mario and Luigi and they it basically allows you to play with any of them at any given time um, in between stages uh, the unique thing is that for, for Mario and the Toads, right, they get the abilities, you know, there's various hats. Of course, it was promoted during the trailer that, you know, there's the elephant hat that allows you to hold water in your trunk to water certain plants that allow you to access wonder seeds and other things that are around. Uh, bounce, you can swing this trunk around to destroy things um as well as their other other hats as well there's a drill hat there's of course the flower the mushroom which is just a extra hit it's just a power up. i don't really count that uh and there's an ice flower or well a bubble flower in the game so there's various items you can use on top of that they have caps which i don't think they're gonna let me show you know which they have the blue ones which are automatic but then they have the manual ones which are the the reddish yellow ones and you know they, they basically give you different ways to you know play through the stages if you care to use them because you don't really have to uh mario daisy peach and luigi and, and the toads they can transform they can use the power of the hats but luigi's and the nabbits they don't gain the ability of the hats instead what they they just don't take damage and yoshi in this game is pretty much busted because on top of the fact that he can eat and you know swallow and spit out most of the enemies in the game he has a an extra jump that allows him to get you know above certain areas um to, to reach the top of the flagpole uh you know it gives him advantages that the other characters just don't have on top of the one hit of uh, immunity on top of the uh the damage immunity that the character has you know you can just basically get through the game easier by using either him or the nabbit one of the yoshis or the nabbit uh My main gripe with this game is that the controls are ass. And I'm going to just cut right to it. The controls are bad. Um, there, it's, there are various maps in this game that have sections that won't allow you to jump on Q. For example, even if, if I ride on one of these like missiles, there's a moment where the there's like a tremble. Some, some platforms have like this tremble even the missiles have it if you're riding on the back of the missile but there's a tremble and while that tremble is going on you can't jump and I under and it's other things as well but those moments where it's crucial because there's challenge maps on the game and there's challenge maps in the game magic koopa and bowser just falling down but you need to be able to jump the way Mario has always jumped in past Mario games in order to really effectively get through some of these uh, maps, some of these stages. And considering that they had that issue, 
it makes it hard. And I know what they were trying to go for. What they were trying to do is make it challenging. Because this is supposed to be a party adventure game, quote unquote. This is supposed to be a game that, because you can play it with up to four people. Um, you, you can play it with up to four people. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's intended to be a party adventure game. That's what it's intended to be. But the controls are so bad, bro. Like, I don't know if anybody else had that problem or had an issue with that. But it's just like not being able to jump when you want to. It caused some problems on some of the stages that just made it more difficult than what it needed to. Like, again, I know what they were going for. They were trying to do something challenging and trying to create a challenging, you know, element to it. But instead, they just made bad controls, a, a bad mechanic for the jump. So that's really my only complaint. Um, and it affects most of the game, to be honest with you. Uh, outside of that, um, you know, the game has secrets and things like that, uh, that makes it, you know, replayable. So, of course, um, as you can see right here, I can go back and I can replay the stages that I may have missed some items on, uh, and go, just go exploring around the different worlds to see if there's any other secrets. But outside of that, it's pretty, you know... It's standard Mario. Outside of those jump mechanic issues, I really don't have any problem with the game because that's literally it. That's my only gripe. Um, and because it affects most of the game, I mean, if I were to give this a score, this would literally get a five out of ten. This ain't this ain't good. <laughs> it's bare bone. It's it's Mario, but it's it's problems that they gotta fix. Like that, they, they gotta fix that jump mechanic. That, that jump mechanic is terrible. But uh, outside of that, man, if you like Mario, I'm pretty sure it's better if you play it with more people. Um, it probably helps you eliminate that uh, that element of you know playing it by yourself and having other people to, to interact with. But as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I'm through with the game. I I liked it for what it was, but. It wasn't the best Mario game I've played. Um, you know, their big selling point was the whole elephant hat. But outside of that, you don't even find yourself using that elephant hat a lot. You know, I mean, and, and that has nothing to do with me using Yoshi. It's just, even when I was using Mario, I was going back to the flower plants and, you know what I'm saying, the drill hat, things like that. So, yeah. So that was my review of... Super Mario Brothers Wonder. If you guys like it, tell me what you think. Uh, and I'm officially done with the game. So until next time, peace. See you guys later.